Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of fishing with Alex. We fished the whole entire seven miles bridge. I just passed under it. And this boat that you're gonna see there, over there, it smells like hell. Uh, poop. So something is going on down here in the Keys. I caught some nice fish and I let them go, all of them, because there's some weird stuff going on. So I don't know what it is. When I got to this pot right here, like, like I saw nothing, like no fish, like what, zero fish. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. It took me pretty much since 4 a.m. that I woke up today to 4 p.m. And I'm not, I'm not home yet. I'm gonna be home in three hours. So it's, I left my house dark. I'm gonna get back at dark. Cast it a thousand times to uh, make this video so you guys could enjoy it. So thank you for watching and I hope you watch the whole entire video. Appreciate you. Good morning, humans. It is 4.32 a.m. Heading over to Big Pine Key, all the way to the Seven Miles Bridge. And we're gonna fish every inch of that seven miles today. Back and forth. This time, I'm gonna go slow. We've done it before. We got hit by sharks and a bunch of stuff. Like, actually, shark actually tried to eat my boat. If you want to watch that, uh, I'm gonna link below the first seven miles out pretty, uh, pretty video if you want to check it out. And this one, I'm thinking I'm just gonna plug it. It is low light right now because it's dark. It's 432. Let's go. First stop, hopefully, Bass Pro for a quick run, if you know what I mean. And then hopefully the second stop is none. It's just at the ramp. We got about two hours to drive down south. We got a long road ahead. Wow, it is 5.04. We made it to Key Largo, the entrance. That was like 30 minutes. Not bad. So I live 30 minutes from Key Largo. 6.09, we just got to the gas station early 629 right now by the time we make it over the bridge it's gonna be daylight I don't like for whatever reason when I'm in a new place it's not new but like in my home court I don't like lunching when it's dark I don't <laughs> just wanna see I just wanna see alright guys we're at the beginning of the seven miles bridge if you're going south I I don't know, did, it, did they start making it from this point or the south point? I'm, I'm assuming from this point. Well, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. But this is where we're going to be. We're going to have lunch over there. Hopefully between 2, 1 to 3 p.m. And we're going to be fishing all this. This is, this is why I like to launch when the sun is up. Because I don't like any of this like... I can't see properly. You know, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy fishing under a bridge at night or when it's dark. So, no. Made it to the bow ramp 642. It's calm. It's a little windy though. But the, the water looks calm. Uh, we just gotta do this. What is this? What is that? All that rope in there. That's not good. You know what? I need to check something before I start uploading. I want to see if there's problems here with the water. Water looks clean though. I've been hearing that there's issues with the water around here in the Keys. Slow tie, some snappers down there. Looks like a boat just left. Don't see any problem with the water. This may be a busy ramp, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set up the everything, put the the wheels on and just drag it down over there.
All right, guys, so tip. If you're gonna put this in K300, this is not the, uh, exactly the mount for this, but it's the same thing, the same idea. It has a hole, right? It doesn't have this, but it, this doesn't go through there. So what I do is I just put this black piece, it has to be parallel with the base. And then it's easy to find where that goes through. It takes you one second, literally. Uh-oh, it's going downhill fast. <laughs> and this could be slippery here. Let's see if I exit. There we go. Well, guys, this is a great tip to use gravity. But remember, ramps are very slippery and dangerous. So careful what you do. See right here, we're almost at the water. Like, look at this, low time, man. Super low time. Just take your time. Somebody's behind you, that's not your problem. Just take your time, guys. It's important. Because that's when mistakes happen. When you try to hurry up and you do some stupid moves. And yeah. All right, so first order of business is to bring this motor down. Uh, so I'm having issues with the kill switch inside the boat there's a problem I don't know if there was a fuse that got out or it got wet but anyways I'm gonna just set this up directly get in here uh, beep. This motor not fine. Oh. Uh, so that motor is now working it's I don't know what it is I connected I took it out fishing last weekend and I connected the battery directly just like that the amped outdoor has a hundred percent charge on it and um, today it's just not working so I got one solution is to remove the motor and this battery take some weight off the boat use the rudder as a steering and just use the nk in the rear and i tend to do this quest Yeah, it's shallow. Yeah. First cast, 7.32, and I'm going fast. When I get a feel for what going at 20% power is, I don't like the sound of 20% power though. So I may have to go a little faster than 20% power just because of the sound. <laughs> Twenty percent power is one point eight miles an hour. I wanted to fish for one mile an hour. But that was with the autopilot unit. I think I'm gonna go 25% power because I don't like the. All right, guys. So we got some major problems already. My trolling motor, my boat had there's a problem with the fuse inside for for the kill switch. So I had to plug in directly. I did that last weekend and it worked. I tested it last night and it worked. It didn't work right here. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the motor is dead. The battery shows 100%. Could be that the cables are dink somewhere. So uh, I'm going to be testing those cables when I get home. 
but I do have the NK300 on the back and I have an amazing amped outdoors lithium battery 36 volt 60 odd hours which in the uh, no in theory no it lasts for 2.2 hours and 20 minutes at maximum speed of 6 miles an hour so that right there is 12 miles so we short two but if we bring that down to 50 percent power <laughs> we could go like 30 miles if we bring that down to 25 percent power so we're going 2.2 miles an hour two miles an hour right now or 25 percent power let's do a quick math here oh my god we could go at 20 percent power we could go 14 hours and we're going two miles an hour so do the math we could go 30 miles we could go 30 miles right now it's just gonna take 15 hours but we could do it okay let's do 15 uh 15 probably is 1.5 miles an hour that's the thing i wanted to stand up and do some fishing and control my boat doing that and that's that's why i was counting with the trolling motor put it on on autopilot and go I have the rotor in a fixed position. I got the motor in a fixed position, but I'm tilting to the right. So I'm going to have to get down to my seat and steer soon. But at least I have one or two casts. Oh my God, I wasn't ready for that. Just had a bite. Actually, I did hook them. Fish number one, guys. And guess what it is? Of course it is what it is. So, Mr. or Mrs. Kuda, where is my pliers? Boom! Got a fish on the board, guys. I did it by fishing slow. So, it's I see a lot of moving water and this is not even open water right here. So, I'm thinking over there is going to be even more choppy. I'm gonna go and test the golf side, see what's up. See, we have to make a decision and adjustment. Fishing under Fred the tree. Look at him right there. You know, if it didn't happen on video, it didn't happen so i'm a little discouraged that so far it is 8:38. i've been on the water for one hour i thought i was fishing i've been fishing for longer oh wow huh. anyways uh, i was a little discouraged that we only got one fish so far but i want to taste this zero calorie sparkling water soda zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants flavor sparking stardust a lot of whatever it's orange first taste is always good but towards the end of it kind of like mm. all right that is fine i'm thinking if so guys i'm thinking if i'm not able to fix the unit that i have the um main coda unit that goes in there i'm gonna put a bow mount in the front where the handle is I'm gonna put a base there, bolt it in from inside, and I'm gonna put my inside three right there in the front. Boom. And then I'm gonna get the rudder in the rear and get rid of it, and put the SI3. Modify Vault Town Autopilot 120. Because this hole is amazing. It's having an issue with the wiring. I'm gonna see if I could get the falling tire wire kit from Old Town and figure it out. If you've been to the Keys from Miami, Ashley, Key West, you've been through this bridge on top of it. You drove, uh, you have driven through it. This is how it looks underneath. There are a bunch of birds on it all the time. The birds are part of the design. This is how it looks. You get really close to it. Wow, look at that, right there. Cool. It's not very deep here, it's probably a uh, few feet maybe six seven feet not super deep in this area when it gets really deep it gets really gnarly you 
you know, the waves are huge. So I like that it's very shallow, almost all over. The Seven Mile Bridge is very shallow. So we're getting close to the bridge where, I mean, I didn't catch any fish pretty, pretty much last time from the launch all the way to the bridge over here. And there, I mean, makes sense why the fish are in the bridge. Something big just showed up the head over there. Probably a turtle. But anyways, it's kind of gnarly here. Look at all the big waves. I know that on the other side, it's not like this. So that, that's cool. If it gets like nasty and I don't like it, I just gonna go on the golf area. For now, I'm good. Boom, boom, boom. See those big waves? Oh my God, it's big fish. Oh my God, big fish. It took everything. It's a big cuda, man. Big cuda, it took everything. That sucks. Damn, bro. Snapped the line, actually. 15 pound test nap oh my god okay guys all right guys i figure i just cast over here we're close to pigeon key i hope they have a restroom man because i really need the restroom just had like a jack or something chase my bait I went for it twice, but didn't commit. Wow, it's very shallow here. I wanted to fish all the way over to Pigeon Key, but it's kind of shallow. I'm gonna try to anyways. Pigeon Key. Let's go. I mean, they gotta be at restroom because walk out two miles to use the restroom I took my paddle just in case someone wants to paddle out my kayak <laughs> pigeon key I mean there gotta be a restroom out here wet laps that up restroom this is pigeon key guys this is right there in the middle of the seven miles bridge you can walk from here all the way to the north entrance i'm in search of a restroom got some artifacts here sea biscuit queen conch or I could, yeah, uh, yab, jua, jua, I don't know how to say it. Coral. Nice. Let's get a little back to fishing. So basically, you could like get a bike, like those people over there, you jump on that bridge. And boom, it's a nice, like if you're working out, dude, this is like the perfect thing. It's like, a, I think it's like two miles. So jogging two miles, really good. They'll probably do presentations and stuff because I see a lot of things prepared. Man, it was really nice to know there's a bathroom here. It was really nice to know that it was clean. And it is basically about four something miles from my lunch spot over there and it's about two miles from the end and it is 10 a.m it's too early to have lunch i haven't caught anything really i'm gonna see if i catch something in one of the fishes area here and then uh, keep going oh thank you pigeon key for your hospitality it is time to go fishing oh. 
lost it twice. Could have been a little fish. Snapper, new species, guys. These are great eatings, but this is not legal. This is a tiny snapper, but see, you could catch them with gulp. Super fun. Grouper, tiny grouper, but hey, we're adding to the collection of fish here. Tiny grouper, but it's a black grouper, and guess what? It's worth it. <laughs> beautiful beautiful tiny grouper this thing is super tasty i think it had to be like 24 inches to be legal they're the size of a snapper look if it was a snapper this would be legal but they're beautiful and gracious i released it and it just went down like nothing this is cool I can't believe this. there's no fish around this dock. This is crazy. There's at least always a kuda or a yellow yak or jack or something. Snappers. But I'm, not, I'm not here to catch little snapper. If not, I, I would have done that. <laughs> I mean, I did already. Cut out, cut out one. Cut a tiny ruger. Uh, what I want to know is a big fish. <laughs> Oh, nice kuda, man. I like, I refuse to believe there's no fish here. So, got a kuda. Uh, everybody's complaining about the waters being messed up. And I'm just not going to take any risk, especially for a tiny kuda. I wouldn't take it anyways. Uh, I'm going to see if I ask around later to see what's going on. Because, I mean... I would have caught more fish today. I'm not fishing fast. I'm, I'm trying to actually make an effort to to fish certain areas more. And um, so far, caught two kudas, one snapper, and one tiny grouper. That's not a lot of stuff. Ooh, the kudas are active now. They're chasing this little thing. I'm gonna throw around. Yes. Woohoo, this is fun, guys! Oh my god! A little bigger, oh great! There you go, second kuda, same bait. Trolling! <laughs> if you want to catch kudas in the keys, all you have to do is get like a gold shrimp or something Chinese chartreuse and just troll around the mangroves or the docks and. Um, Kuda will love you for it. And you could catch big ones, not just tiny ones. It's just something is wrong to them. Oh, yes. Oh, fell off. Oh my God. I know they're here. I know what they want. They're small, but they're fun. This is like bass fishing, guys. They're chasing the white bait and they want a little bit of speed. They're hungry. 
Ooh. Dude, you know, I set the hook on that one without feeling. This is like forward facing sonar fishing right here. I just saw something go after it. I calculated, estimated how long it would take to get to the bait. And I just set the hook and here it is. Boom. I didn't, I didn't wait. I didn't wait for, for, for me to feel the, the hook set, like the, the bite, I just say. I just set the hook. Side fishing. <laughs> I saw the fish going for it, not so much felt the bite. That's like three in like two seconds and I was saying there is no fish here. Yeah, this bait is almost messed up. Hey guys, so I'm back to eating once a day because I got fat and I still weigh 200 pounds, but I'm like, my face is a lot leaner already. So I'm here debating if I want to Catch another cuda. Go in reverse here. Or just start heading over to the restaurant and have my meal of the day. 10.40. I wasn't planning on keeping fish anyways. I was just gonna go and eat over there. Oh. Boom. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna troll out of here and start heading over to the restaurant place. Guess we're gonna have to do reverse again. I just saw fish over here. Oh my god. We went for it. Saw the fish over there, it went for it, but didn't want any more. Hey, what is this? <clears throat> oh, Jack. Oh, I think it was something bigger, man. <laughs> I think it was like a tarpon or something like that not a jack but hey jacks are fun to fight I mean, it was heavy this thing was heavy oh my god look at the bend look at the bend on this rock like seriously like if you want to freaking have a fun fighting fish come to florida and hook jacks on a lightweight rod like this one like seriously this fish is highly underrated it's such a fighter they're fun to catch they eat anything too man it's crazy how it went from basically catching no fish to i lost track of how many fish i caught already and it's all because of island structure fish in the middle they don't like they travel in the middle like you you're gonna get lucky and catch one or two fighting they live here they go close to islands they stay close to islands that's the difference that's why um, i'm catching more here than like you know hitting every piling and stuff like that like the odds of a fish being at the piling are not as high as a fish being around a little island isolated island I think the school moved but two is great and i was thinking jack because there's like a little channel there's a lot of current and those jacks fish they love to be around current like that so boom good job man good job lots of fish oh my god Oh my god look who showed up oh my god what a beautiful oops <laughs> these are feisty what a beautiful mangrove snapper 
Guys, there is something wrong in the keys with fish. I'm gonna let this one go. It didn't wanna... You see? Yes. Nice fish. <clears throat> nice fish. It's a jack, man. Bro, this thing. This thing pull hard, man. It's like. It's like, bro. It's like. I. My goal in life is to give angler headaches and I'm just 24 inches, uh, 10 inches. What is that airplane doing here? Oh, it's gonna go to the airfield over there, Marathon. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, um, I had the motor like a 60% power and I heard something. Thruk, thruk. And I'm like, what the heck is that? They didn't bring any tools, or anything to fix that. If something happens, I just remember that. I'm right here uh, at 7 miles, so if something happens, the best thing to do is just to simply call an Uber, go get the truck and get everything out of here. It's gonna be a mission now. It's 1151, I wanna catch a fish here. I think I'm changing, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought this area here was gonna be full of boats, it isn't. And the second thing is, I thought that it was gonna be very nasty, big wavy, and it looks flat. So I'm gonna go over there and see if I can catch a fish. See big boats coming, but those big boats don't look like they're coming here. I hope not. So that big boat is going fast. There's some big boat over here. I don't think they're gonna pass on the bridge, but. Little, I don't understand how those boats decided to come in here right now there was nobody coming around here sheesh they slowed down for me that's good good thing they slowed down yay I don't see one fish. Normally there's kudos. That's what I was hoping to catch. Just to say I caught a fish on the other side. But there's no fish here. It smells like sewer. This area smells like sewer. Maybe that's the problem. I'm getting out of here. It smells like food. 12 11. Boom. Okay, good. So he went over there. Good job, man. Appreciate that. Wow, this is very gnarly here. Look at the water. Oh my god. Current. This is crazy, man. If I wasn't just here, this would be the perfect place to be running like that crazy. Look how choppy it is. Oh my god. Like if I didn't have the motor, I won't be able to go through this. Heck no, man. This is like super choppy, super mean, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that was gnarly. Jeez. All right, but we made it here. A ladder there. Yes, it's done. 
Yeah, yeah man. And normally it has a trolley motor in the front, but oh, okay. it it wasn't working this morning, of course. Yeah, good. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do it. But yeah. okay. it's uh, it's really rough here now. You gave me an idea. No, I don't think they get a lot of clients like me. Yeah. But um. Yeah. And man, that was crazy. I didn't count on this mess. I'm gonna see if I park on the shore. That dock over there, super rough. So, I don't know about that. Motor's gonna hit the, yeah. Motor's gonna hit the thing. Gotta fix it. Man, it looks like it's late afternoon. It is only 107. Okay, 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 we're about to head back. We're gonna cross the seven miles bridge. It looks gnarly, so I think I'm gonna go over here. Man, I wish it was like this when I came here. That dock was horrible. When I first passed through there, it was nasty as hell. Thinking of going under the bridge, that's already avoid this area here. Lunch was great, but I didn't enjoy it. I was worried about the kayak. I was worried about getting out of here. GoPro took too long to record. Made it all the way to Pigeon Key. But it's very shallow here, so I'm gonna pot it a little bit. Last time that error happened, the the prop was now like moving. Let's see. This is not good. I have to paddle five miles. Not good at all. Sometimes you get an error, which is the prop is stock, it's like error 20. All you have to do is just spin the prop once. Hey, uh, 2 p.m. plus update. Looks kinda like super cloudy. 
over there. It's like it's raining somewhere over there. It's not supposed to rain here. It looks like it's 6 p.m. Like it's but it's totally 2 p.m. And I remember this morning I didn't catch anything from the launch till all the way to Pigeon Key. So why bother fishing? Fishing. I'm gonna save my energies to when I hit the ramp, fish that area. Maybe we'll catch more kudas or yellow jacks or I don't know. But I'm just gonna speed up a little bit and get closer to the pilings and go four or five miles an hour. Maybe we get something fast to eat. So far, something went after it but didn't commit. Didn't, uh, missed it. Missed the bait. We'll see. What if I put the SI3 unit but not in the bow like I was thinking, but do a base with raised risers that go in there like basically I'll put two risers there the base will also be bolted from the front with plastic and metal going down and then the SI3 unit is going to go through the same hole that the autopilot was going through for the tree that means we're really close kids we're back this is normally where I will be fishing anyways. So I'll venture out a little bit. Made it back. It is... What time is it? 3 p.m. Super clear water. I could see, but not because of the sun, but because the water is super clear. Don't see any fish though. <gasps> My god, giant tarpons. Shit freaking shit i spooked them this is like 60 pounders what the heck i spooked them why didn't i see them earlier wow giant tarpons when they're not feeding it's practically impossible to catch them but live bait oh yeah we're gonna come back here just live bait tarpon fishing that's right there were like six of them probably still close by what did i lose my mojo Do I even know how to fish anymore? Like, goodness. Jump, like I know this fish here, it came going blazing. And I just had like a a, a bite and I, I, I hesitated. It's a cuda. It's chasing me, right? Let's see, let's see. See, we'll give it something else. Let's shoot on. Something ate it. I like tiny kudos, man. Chasing my beat. That's a bonefish. Shoot. That's a bonefish. Where where is the shrimp when you need it? That's a bonefish. Damn. That's a bonefish. Where are those damn in there? Shark. No, it's nooks. There's nooks. There's nooks. There's nooks. Okay, there's nooks, lights.
there's milk are still here. Right there in front of me. Those that's just milk and parafish. Guys, I don't understand how I haven't caught a fish. Having seen a bunch of tarpons, three snooks, bunch of kudas chasing the bait, holding the bait in their mouth, and nothing. Nothing. My only weapon now is to. I missed the hook several, like twice. It's too cool. Let Ronnie do the job. Tiny stingray over there. Super tiny stingray. Look at that. Made it back to the ramp. There's probably fish around here just doing I'm not gonna target them, I'm done. It's funny, I didn't catch a fish after much. What a difference, man! Look at the water right now, super calm. When I got there, it was choppy as hell, man. Look at that, those boats are not even moving. What the heck? Yeesh! I just remembered I have all my GoPro batteries outside the in, like waterproof bag. For the first time ever, have it back there on the black pack and it's raining like crazy. I may be out probably each, each body 20 bucks. Or maybe I'll do 100 bucks. Hopefully that black pack kind of like keeps it dry. If not, dude, it's not gonna be pretty. Alright, bro. It rained a lot. See, okay, not so bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. So, luckily, doesn't look like it got wet. Ha, sweet. <laughs>